and then it finds that there is a decimal value it checks whether this decimal value actually agrees with the data type if it's uh, if it's a value that's a huge like if you have put a value that's four billion point zero point one then I uh, then it's not going to take that input because that's out of range so it also checks or the compiler also checks whether that value is within the range of this float data type or will it be able to accommodate this entire decimal value inside this four byte of space that we are asking for so if it agrees or if the value actually agrees with everything with the uh, the first condition is that it will have to be decimal the second condition is that it must meet the range or it must be able to fit inside that four byte of space so if it meets both of those conditions then it's going to retrieve that value which is 100.049 and then it's going to plug in that value inside this string and hence it shows that value on our command prompt so similarly if we replace this with d which means we are now referring to the variable called d with a data type of double then let's see what happens let's first save this then again let's build and run this similarly it shows us that we have got a value of 20,123.0231 and then it adds two trailing zeros we're going to handle that uh, right after this uh, format specifier when we are talking about the filled with specifiers but let us first finish this off so similarly because as I've told you earlier essentially float and double data typed variable are essentially the same or they're referring to the same type of data which is decimal data so because we are referring to the decimal data we use the same kind of format specifier for the float data type and also for the double data type so likewise when we are referring to the d variable or a variable called d our compiler reads that there must be a variable called d so it goes back to the actual body of the program or it goes to line 8 and then it finds that there is a variable called d and that variable d has a type of double then it looks for the assignment operator then it looks on the right hand side of this assignment operator then it also finds that this is a decimal data type which is the first condition that it must be a decimal data so our uh, programmer or we have written a program that has a decimal data the next thing is that it must fit inside that 8 byte of memory space or it must uh, agree with the range so our uh, conditions or both of those conditions actually agree hence our compiler takes that data and plugs it inside this format specifier now when it plugs that inside our format specifier our printf function prints that out on the command prompt so this was quite simple but we do have a problem with this double data type because our double data type has added two training zeros before the last decimal digit that we have included inside this data so how do we fix that before we go on to fill with specifier I want to show you one simple uh, another simple um, format specifier which is for the string values we're not going to look at what are string values right now because it's quite complex because we need to learn about uh, arrays before we move on to strings but because we are talking about format specifiers we're going to look at how to put in or plug in strings inside our printf function so let's actually include a sentence let's write this is a sentence now this is a string as I've told you how do you distinguish between uh, how do you actually distinguish between a string and a character so the first thing that you will have to look at is whether they whether they have the single quotation marks 
or the values enclosed inside a single quotation mark or whether the value is or the data is enclosed inside double quotation marks if it's double quotation marks then you you will actually assume or you will actually you will be certain that that's a string value but if it's in uh, if it's enclosed inside a single quotation mark or i mean if it's enclosed inside single quotation marks then you will actually know that that's a character value so how do we take this entire sentence and we and how do we plug that inside the printf body so it's very simple because we're referring to the string speci uh, a string value then we need the string specifier for our uh, printf function so let's erase that f and then I'm going to add the S. Let's save this right now. And I need to close this. Now let's build this and let's run this. So you can simply see that it's very simple. I mean, it's actually quite easy to print out a string value on our screen. We just have to put in the appropriate string specifier uh, format specifier once you have to actually display a sentence or a huge paragraph on your command prompt or on your display so format specifiers there are other format specifiers one of the uh, important one if you're doing huge calculations which includes scientific methodology you will have to use the exponential form so how does that exponential form works let's have a look so we're going to expand this like uh, this. We're going to add several values. And then we're going to erase this strings, uh, string value. Then we're going to call in the double variables value. And then we're going to put in the D. So this brings us to something that's called the exponential format specifier. So essentially what we would have done is that because it's a decimal value we would have uh, sorry for that we would have used f instead of uh, instead of d d actually refers to the integer value f refers to either float or double but because we are referring to or we want to print that value out using uh, in a format called exponential notation then we will use the E. So let's run this right now and let's have a look. So as you can see, this is quite weird if you're not actually familiar with the exponential notation, but this is the same thing. What it has essentially done is that, let me show you, it took the entire value and then it produced something like this.